Hello everybody, I'm going to teach you how to install the Pet Society No Fill emulator. You will start by getting this folder from Dropbox. If you don't have Dropbox, please go to dropbox.com and start an account. If you are watching this, then you will already know the person who has this file. If you are not sure who that is, you may contact me with a private message and I may be able to put you in touch with that person, but I'm really only making this for people I already know. And the reason I'm making it is because it's a very tricky process. <clears throat> and if you don't do everything in exactly the right order, it doesn't work out. I tried writing out directions, but they were just kind of confusing. So anyway, with that in mind, once you have Dropbox and once you download the Pet Society folder, which by the way, when you download it, it is very big. So if you don't have much space on your computer, make some. Uh, it will take some time. I seem to remember it taking a couple hours for me to download, but that was a while ago and it was on a different computer. So anyways, so it'll take a while to download. Once you get it, you'll open it up and you'll select this file here the nofill ps server 15 double click that and it'll open this up and it'll ask you to install the application I already have the application so I'm not going to install it but you will select run now that will install the emulator and it should make a desktop icon for you and it should look like a little picture of the mayor. Mine is up here. I'm trying to circle it so you can see it. So the next thing you do is you open this www root file and you'll see this program mongoose 3.8 and you'll double click that and once you do down in the corner of your computer you should see a little icon that looks like a mongoose. Mine's right there. Just know that it's there and don't worry about it for right now. You can close this, double click the picture of the mayor to open the emulator. You'll see this screen. You can just hit OK because you don't really need to read that stuff. Uh, and everything will look like this. Everything's completely blank. The first thing you want to do is hit database and this should already be preset. Don't change this. This should be linked through your folder. Um, just hit load and it'll take a little minute to load. And once it loads you'll have this little blue circle here. Now a lot of people have gotten stuck here they'll get, <clears throat> excuse me, they'll get some kind of warning like um, database cannot load or something like that. Um, I had that problem a long time and I found that for whatever reason saving everything on the desktop made it work. I don't know why. I think having all of your files in one place might have something to do with it. I don't know. But that is what worked for me. If that doesn't work for you, um, I can't really help you. But assuming it does work, the next thing you'll do is go to Profile. Now, for those of you who saved your profiles, you will go to Load File, and mine is saved on my desktop. My pet's name is Lufa. and you should see these are all the coins and shovels and whatever that I gave myself don't mess with this stuff right now once you get more comfortable with the server you can play around with that but but for now just leave it alone I created a different profile called new pet and if you download the pet society um, folder from Dropbox you should get this profile um, and when you do, you should save it to your desktop. You can open New Pet, and you'll have all the money and my entire inventory. 
the only difference, that was an app, by the way, if you heard that meow, that was my phone. I'm not torturing a cat over here. Um, if you if you use the new pet dot no feel file, you'll have my entire inventory, which will be a good thing to have because I played the game for many years and I have a lot of things that are no longer available in the shops. Okay, so assuming you use the new pet, whatever pet file you use, it doesn't matter. Uh, and it, by the way, when you download the Pet Society file, you'll find the .nofill file in, it should be either in the Pet Society folder or in the www root folder. Um, just move it to your desktop. That's what worked for me. Anyway, when the profile loads, you'll see this blue thingy. And now you can hit start server. Make sure it's on port 8881. Don't touch that. Don't change it. Don't screw with it. Leave it alone. You can minimize. And then, whoops, not that one. You go back here and you find your little mongoose and you click start browser. And don't judge the tabs that I have open. <laughs> The loading does tend to be a little slow. I don't know if that's my computer. It shouldn't be because my computer is less than a year old. But it does tend to be a little slow. But the game is basically the normal pace. Um, it's a little slower than I remember it being. But that might just be because of the server. That might be my computer. I don't know. You'll have to play with it on your own. Some people do get locked up at 93%. Usually that's because they forgot to push the start server button. Um, I've heard that some antivirus programs can interfere, but I don't know the validity of that. But you can try disabling them if you have that problem. But yes, it's that music you long to hear. And that's not what my pet looks like. I changed my pet to look like that because I wanted people to be able to go stylist and change to make it look like how their pet looked.